The Horus Heresy, Horus Rising. The Seeds of Heresy Are Sown by Dan Abnett, read by Toby Longworth. Six. A block of smoke, as black and vast as a mountainside, hung over the battlefield in the cold night air. Xenos' bodies covered the ground, curled and shriveled like metal shavings. Captain Torgadon, the lunar wolf said, introducing himself formally and making the sign of the Aquila. Captain Tarvitz, Tarvitz responded. My thanks and respect for your intervention. The honor's mine, Tarvitz, Torgadon said. He glanced around the smouldering field. Did you really assault here with only six men? It was the only workable option in the circumstances, Tarvitz replied. Nearby, Bull was freeing Lucius from the wad of megaracted cement. Are you alive? Torgadon asked, looking over. Lucius nodded sullenly and set himself apart while he picked the scabs of cement off his perfect armour. Torgadon regarded him for a moment, then turned his attention to the Vox intel. How many with you? Tarvitz asked. A spear tip, said Torgadon. Four companies. A moment, please. Second company, form up on me. Luke, secure the perimeter. Bring up the heavies. Sergar, cover the left flank. Verulam, I'm waiting. Front up the right wing. The Vox crackled back. Who's the commander here? A voice demanded. I am, said Torgadon, swinging round. Flanked by a dozen of the Emperor's children, the tall, proud figure of Lord Eidolon crunched towards them across the fuming white slag. "'I am Eidolon,' he said, facing Torgadon. "'Torgadon.' "'Under the circumstances,' Eidolon said, "'I'll understand if you don't bow. "'I can't for the life of me imagine any circumstances in which I would,' Torgadon replied. Eidolon's bodyguards wrenched out their combat blades. "'What did you say?' demanded one. "'I said you boys should put those pig-sticks away before I hurt somebody with them.' Eidolon raised his hand, and the men sheathed their swords. "'I appreciate your intervention, Torgadon, for the situation was grave. Also, I understand that the lunar wolves are not bred like proper men, with proper manners, so I'll overlook your comment.' "'That's Captain Torgadon,' Torgadon replied. If I insulted you in any way, let me assure you, I meant it. Face to face with me, Eidolon growled and tore off his helm, forcing his genhanced biology to cope with the atmosphere and the radioactive wind. Torgadon did the same. They stared into each other's eyes. Tarvitz watched the confrontation in mounting disbelief. He'd never seen anyone stand up to Lord Eidolon. The pair were chestplate to chestplate, Eidolon slightly taller, Torgadon seemed to be smirking. "'How would you like this to go, Eidolon?' Torgadon inquired. "'Would you perhaps like to go home with your head stuck up your ass?" "'You are a base-born cur,' Eidolon hissed. "'Just so you know,' replied Torgadon, "'you'll have to do an awful lot better than that. "'I'm a base-born cur and proud of it. "'You know what that is?' He pointed up at one of the stars above them. A star? asked Eidolon, momentarily wrong-footed. Yes, probably. I haven't the faintest idea. The point is, I'm the designated commander of the Lunar Wolf Spear Tip, come to rescue your sorry backsides. I do this by warrant of the War Master himself. He's up there, in one of those stars, and right now he thinks you're a cretin. And he'll tell Fulgrim so next time he meets him. Do not speak my Primarch's name so irreverently, you bastard. Horus will— There you go again, Torgadon sighed, pushing Eidolon away from him with a two-handed shove to the Lord's breastplate. He's the War Master. Another shove. The War Master. Your War Master. Show some cursed respect. Eidolon hesitated. I, of course, recognize the majesty of the War Master. Do you? Do you, Eidolon? Well, that's good. 
because I'm it. I'm his chosen instrument here. You'll address me as if I were the War Master. You'll show me some respect, too. War Master Horus believes you've made some shit-awful mistakes in your prosecution of this theatre. How many brothers did you drop here? A company? How many left? Sergar? Head count? Thirty-nine live ones, Tarek, the Vox answered. There may be more. Lots of body piles to dig through. Thirty-nine. You were so hungry for glory, you wasted more than half a company. If I was Primarch Fulgrim, I'd have your head on a pole. The War Master may yet decide to do just that. So, Lord Eidolon, are we clear? We, Eidolon replied slowly, are clear, Captain. Perhaps you'd like to go and undertake a review of your forces, Togadon suggested. The enemy will be back soon, I'm sure, and in greater numbers. Eidolon gazed venomously at Torgaddon for a few seconds, and then replaced his helm. I will not forget this insult, Captain, he said. Then it was worth the trip, Togadon replied, clamping on his own helmet. Eidolon crunched away, calling to his scattered troops. Togadon turned and found Tarvitz looking at him. What's on your mind, Tarvitz? he asked. I've been wanting to say that for a long time, Tarbitz wished to say. Out loud, he said, What do you need me to do? Gather up your squad and stand ready. When the shit comes down next, I'd like to know you're with me. Tarvitz made the sign of the Aquila across his chest. You can count on it. How did you know where to drop? Torgadon pointed at the calm sky. We came in where the storm had gone out, he said. Ha 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 ha!